Hello everyone, Steve here, FXDD, coming to you from my headquarters in Seven World Trade Center. As always, allow me to remind you that past performance is not indicative of future results, so please stay tuned to the end of the video to read our disclaimer. Today I'm coming to you with the week in review for the week of May 12th. Now our latest datum out of Europe showed that the Eurozone shrank more than economists had expected. This fall off in GDP represents the sixth quarter in the Eurozone recession, falling 0.2% more than the previous quarter. Also in Europe, April auto sales were up 1.8%. This is the first increase in 19 months. With all this activity, we saw a fairly active trading week in the euro dollar with a weekly range of 231 pips, trading as high as 130.27 and as low as 127.96. The pair is currently trading at about 128.20. U.S. unemployment claims came out on Thursday at 360,000. This is 28,000 higher than expected. Philly Fed Manufacturing Index also came out on Thursday at minus 5.2. This measures the level of diffusion index based on surveyed manufacturers in Philadelphia. Typically, when the number is higher than zero, it indicates that conditions are improving. Contrarily, when it is lower than zero, it indicates that conditions are worsening. The dollar-yen continues to weaken in reaction to recent Bank of Japan policy initiatives. Even after breaking through that very important 100 level, the dollar-yen continues to increase and is trading at its highest level since October of 2008. Today we saw the dollar-yen break through the 103 level, but it re recently fallen off and is currently trading around 102.87. I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to email us at salesteam at fxcd.com. Thanks and have a great week.